With 4,100 people having been made sick, the Hawke's Bay DHB is saying some people may develop a serious disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS, in which the body's immune system attacks part of its nervous system. Although the incidence of GBS is low, it's often associated with earlier exposure to Campylobacter. Kerry McIntosh is in Hastings Memorial Hospital with GBS, but she got seriously unwell from Campylobacter in July. I've had leptospirosis in the, um, of, um, you know, 10 years ago, so I know what serious illness we were like, and this was horrific. So the first course of antibiotics, I finished it, um, and the next day, away we go again, it just came, came back at me with a vengeance, and, and, um, and, and I had to go back for another course of antibiotics, and I reported at that time that um, my fingers were numb, my eyesight was not right, and my, um, my uh, feet were numb. That's Kerry herself speaking to us via Skype from her hospital bed. She's so angry about her situation and about a major Campylobacter outbreak in exactly the same area a month after she became unwell that she set up a Facebook page, Have Your Say Hawks Bay, for people to share their experiences. At first, she thought she had food poisoning from a dodgy pie, but when that was eliminated and when she learned her Campylobacter was from a non-food related source, she became interested in earlier E. coli contaminations in the tomato bore where Havelock North gets its drinking water. She repeatedly asked the local council for water testing results and were told they weren't available. Terry, do you know how you got Campylobacter? No, um, apart, apart from the fact that I live right in on ground zero there. Now, Six weeks after she first became unwell, Kerry, as you can see if you're watching, is in hospital, and that's where we spoke to her earlier. Well, um, I'm, I've been diagnosed with what is called uh, Willing-Barre syndrome, which is a complication of Campylobacter. Uh, it's relatively rare, but the hospital, I'm the first case, and the hospital are expecting to see quite a few more, so I've created a bit of interest up here. Um, um, uh, so I have my vision, which I rely on quite heavily for work, um, um, is, is quite blurry and it's double and I, I need these, I accidentally bought these reading glasses, which are super strength things, and I, years ago I picked up the wrong thing and I remember them, you know, I can't live without these now, and I can't walk. So um, as of last night, I've I've lost a, a lot of, um, of, of the strength in the ability, and apparently, it, what happens with this syndrome is that your your body's immune system goes into overdrive if, if it's been under pressure for um, you know a significant amount of pressure, and and, and it, can it turns on itself and um, and attacks the nervous system. So that's what's happening to me right now. So they've got me hooked up um, to make sure that nothing. It happens with my lungs and heart, and I'm on um, immunoglobulin, I think is the name for it, to boost my immune system, which is a blood product. And I've had a lumbar puncture, which was um, which was wonderful, and um, uh, just to, to test the fluid in my spine for uh, protein, and um, um, what else have I had? I've had all sorts of needles, and I've got lines and needles, and <laughs> yeah. So so this is as a result of Campylobacter that you contracted in July and that wasn't from a food source? That's correct. That's correct. Do, do you believe you got it from a water source? And is that what the doctors you are dealing with believe? Well, yes, uh, because um, they've ruled out the pie and, and um, I, I'm not in contact with anything that could possibly... I mean, it's quite, it's quite, um, it's quite fortuitous that that weekend was just a busy weekend with, um, with um, computer and sort of paperwork. And, and you live yes. in Tomata Road in very close proximity That's to right. the boar that we know this contaminated water has come from and bore three which was previously closed because of E. coli contamination. Correct, yes. 
And, and so I, I, how I are you feeling as you sit in hospital really unwell? I look, um, I, I'm furious. Um, I'm, a, I'm a bit too ill now to be venting it, but my daughter, um, I was on Skype, uh, well, um, in, in conversation with both my daughters, um, and they said, um, um, yeah, you, you, you look a bit insane, Mum, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm just so angry that... That, um, I said, I said, uh, I, I'm, I'm normally a very pleasant person, but I said they poked the wrong bull here by not, um, not just, just give me the water test results because I want answers. Kerry McIntosh, who's in Hastings Memorial Hospital with GBS, her Facebook page is Have Your Say, Hawke's Bay.